Hi everyone and welcome back to Brie Unfiltered. So today we have Adrian, who is an international supermodel and actor who is incredibly talented and has been a good friend of mine for about two years now. So I am so excited to introduce you guys to him and he's going to tell us his amazing journey to where he is now and how you can find him. Welcome, Adrian. It's so good to Thank have you. you. Thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Of course, of course. I mean, it'd be a travesty if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's nice that you reached out and I was like, oh, absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'm more than happy to do it, you know? Of course. I mean, you're an international supermodel. You are everywhere. You can look at any billboard and you'll see your face most likely. <laughs> I I no, I appreciate it. I'm I'm not there yet, but you know, I would, I would love you know one day for sure. You know, one 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 photo shoot at a time. Almost oh, definitely, and yes. I mean, it's so inspirational to think what got you into modeling. Well, uh, it's funny. So. The whole thing started, I just got into industry by, not by accident, but I was teaching fitness classes. So I was, I was really into fitness. So I was teaching in all gyms, a lot of gyms all over New Jersey and New York. And, um, and somebody told me that I was not animated enough on stage. So they told me I need a little bit more of a stage presence. And I was like, okay, so what do I do? And they told me they referred me to an acting coach and I went and I met him who's a great guy uh his name's uh, Ron Milkey who's my acting coach for a few years and he we just you know he taught me all the basics then Meisner and technique and uh I learned you know how to be a little bit more comfortable on stage mm -hmm. and uh and that led me to you know go on an audition because after the workshop after the acting workshop you go and you audition. So uh, I auditioned and I actually booked my first audition. And then uh, after that, I just kind of, I just kept doing, I'm like, oh, I guess I'm acting now. And um, that led me to more photo shoots and uh, meeting uh, modeling agencies. And then just modeling kind of like started taking off. Mm -hmm. I was never doing it full time because I'm doing uh, digital art mostly as my, full time you know yes but modeling and is I've like, seen that and you're incredible in that oh thank you appreciate it so that just took off and I just kind of like started doing that and I did that for a few years and then I went back to art and I was the art for a while and then it just kept calling me back and always and I just went back and and I kept grinding you know that's awesome I mean yeah it is so inspirational to think that you started in your fitness and it just yeah. snowballed yeah. into this acting and modeling it's career crazy. that yeah. you built up. How yeah, long have you been in the business? Oh, a long time. It's since, I would say I started like maybe 2009, 2010. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was just kind of like testing the waters just to see what works, what doesn't. And then um, once I started booking and like started getting really into it, um, that's when I was like, okay, maybe I should do this, take this a little more serious. And now I just... You know, as far as acting, I I don't do as much acting right now just because it's mm -hmm. so time consuming. And I love acting because it's just so amazing. Um, but modeling is a little bit easier for me right now just with the time because I have a lot of projects I'm working with. So I'm actually, I, I, I'm teaching uh, kids to draw like murals and digital art mm -hmm. at schools in New York and Staten Island. So uh, that's been really great. It's my fifth year like teaching. So I'm helping uh these kids are so talented so um you know i just want them to really really kind of get their you know work on their craft and become you know amazing which they will be and um mm -hmm. that's kind of been that's what i've been doing so it's kind of hard for me to get away from that and you know do full-time acting oh, yes. but modeling is like modeling is perfect because i can just do it you know whether it's a shoot or a campaign or whatever it is i can just do it and you know and then go by my way and, and go back to art oh my gosh and so it, you started off by acting yeah 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 i started acting and i i did a few like small small parts for uh 
like you know Oprah Winfrey Network own network. So I did a couple of couple of shows there. I did like Unfaithful, where mm -hmm. I played like a cheating cheating husband. Oh my and, gosh! And then I did uh, what was the other? Deadly Sins, that was on uh, that was on ID ID Discovery. So there I played like a killer, killer cop. He was like a homicidal cop. So yeah, try to work, try to work on my range, you know? Um, but yeah, it's, it let me a lot of, a lot of cool opportunities and met a lot of uh, different people in the industry, a lot of professionals. So kind of like, you know, it, it boosts your confidence and it makes you work that much harder. Mm-hmm. So oh, I'm, I, I, I consider myself kind of a workaholic because I just, I <laughs> love to be working, you know, everything. Like, I just, I can't just sit still. I have to be working, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm on, I watch your Instagram and your Facebook all the time. And it's like every single day oh. you have something different that you're doing. Oh, sure. Yeah, you know, like my Friday nights, I'm in front of my computer with my, you know, with my drawing board, with my tablet. <laughs> I'm just listening to paranormal podcasts and just drawing drawing and and just focused like that's that's my weekend night really unless i have to go out somewhere for an event or something but i'd rather just stay home and draw you know design and and it's been great you know i've been working with a lot of great brands um i just actually finished um work for ll cool j so he owns a he owns a brand uh, called Rock Bells. So I did a whole um, coloring book for his, uh, for the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Oh my gosh. So I was basically responsible for the entire book. So I designed 64 pages of just coloring book, um, different uh, break dancers, everything hip hop mm -hmm. related. So that was uh, really cool. It's actually in Walmart right now. You buy the stuff online too. Oh, I'll so, have to buy one. I mean, yeah, come yeah. on now. I know. I need to. Fun. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll send you a copy for sure. It's really cool. You know, it's, it's for it's adult coloring books, so, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can you can play with it too. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Um, very detailed. You know, very, uh, a lot of like elements involved, but it came out really cool. So I'll definitely post it one day. I just keep forgetting. I have so much stuff that I'm doing <laughs> that I like. You know, I have to post one thing at a time, and you have to be so consistent nowadays with Instagram algo and everything. And, I'm just, oh, yeah. you know, trying my best. It's a struggle at most times with yeah, social media. Sure. But I'm honestly interested in the paranormal podcast that you just brought up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just, you know, I'm, I've always been into, like, sci-fi fantasy. Uh, if you look at my Instagram, mm -hmm. you see, like, I'm, I've been involved with that stuff for, for a long time. And it's just something I'm fascinated with. So it kind of just eases my mind and just... You know, I don't have to stress too much about other things and just keeps me, you know, in the present moment. A man after my own heart. That's how I relax, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, you go. as soon as you said it, it's just like kindred spirits. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you say is your biggest inspiration? Because I know that you said that you're teaching kids now. What is your biggest inspiration for them? Oh, you know, I just... I want them to know the things I know now that I wish I had known when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to teach them like, oh, you know, the key is not to ever discourage them because, you know, mm -hmm. they want to learn, they want to learn. And, and it's, you have to just kind of just always uh, point them in the right direction. So mm -hmm. whatever it is they're doing, okay, oh, this is great. Oh, why don't you add this, you know, and, and this will look even better, you know, like make them feel like, oh, wow. Okay, cool. I'll do it. You know? So uh, they've been doing that and it's been, their work has been so good. And it's, it's, you know, I've done, last year we did, uh, we did doors. So we were coloring doors. We were doing murals for doors. Mm -hmm. And we did uh, two sets of uh, auditorium doors. So we painted, so that was really cool. And they're, oh, wow. they're so creative. The kids were so creative. So uh, it was definitely was a lot of fun doing that. And I think that, you know, I think inspiration just, just pointing them in the right direction and just and just have fun with it and enjoy it. Don't focus so much about the end goal and just focus mm -hmm. on the progress, just on the on the whole process, you know? Because oh. process is where it all lies, you know? 
process is the fun part. If you if you enjoy the process, goal, you will achieve goal in no time. Most definitely. So your biggest inspiration has to be these kids. Just seeing how yeah, they work. Kids, you know, kids, yeah, I grew up with artists. My whole family were artists, you know, my mom, uh, my dad, my grandpa. Uh, so I kind of grew up in, with family of artists. So I was always inspired. You know, I always had inspiration. So I was very lucky when I was a kid because I always, you know, I watched my mom draw. I watched, you know, my grandfather. I have his paintings. So I was always kind of like, wow, you know, like these people can draw. Like I need to start, you know, doing that too. And I kind of just picked it up right away at an early age and then just kept kept doing it and then and then modeling kind of came my way and I was like sure I'll try that too <laughs> you know sure why not I mean yeah. it's there. <laughs> so it's been kind of you know interesting journey definitely it sounds like it I mean what is your next big step with your art career Ooh, I, I mean I have so many I have so many goals you know I'm just like I said, you know, I'm just focusing on just doing things and just mm -hmm. putting it out there. You know, you have to be seen. You have to you have to make sure people know about your work. So you have to, you know, you gotta promote yourself in this day and age. You have to. Um and I just wanna get better and better. Every every skill that I, you know, have right now, I just wanna, you know, 10x it next year, for example. You know, I wanna I wanna get better and, mm -hmm. and, and better. And, you know, and look back and be like, oh, wow, look how far, you know, I've gotten. So it takes, takes time. But. It does. And your skills definitely are nothing to sneeze at. I oh, mean, thank you. I don't know if any of our audience has actually seen Adrian's page, but if you haven't, I totally recommend it. He posts almost every three days or so. And he always has these amazing new pictures from modeling or from his art career. And it's just so inspiring to see because Thank this you. man is just incredible. <laughs> He's got a heart of gold. And on top of that, he is just such an inspiration in so many ways. He is so talented, so nice. Oh my gosh, guys, please, please oh, go check him you. out. Oh, I cannot you, recommend he's enough. Fun. He is such oh, a good friend you. too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, of course, of course. Listen, you know, um, I'm, you know, I support you. You know, you're, you're doing great too. You inspire me as well. You know, I see you doing like all these yeah. amazing things. I'm like, this is amazing. Like, I wish, you know, like I would have done all that stuff when I was like much, much younger, but you know, it's, it's Oh, amazing. come on now. Oh, you're just as young as me <laughs> it's it's fantastic just you know keep keep going keep 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 showing up keep uh you know putting your work out there you know mm -hmm. oh yes. never 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 you know uh, stop or you know if you fall off track because we all do sometimes just always come back and you know get back you always gotta and... bounce back yeah bounce back that's it and I just have to ask. I saw that you were in Dubai recently. How uh, was that? Morocco. Yeah, Morocco. Morocco. Sorry. Yeah. Dubai's Morocco. next, though. I definitely want to go to Dubai next because I, I, I think Dubai looks amazing. I definitely want to visit. But Morocco is super fun. It super looks fun. incredible. Yeah, it was. It was a very different experience. You know, it just came like it just. My friend just hit me up and he was like, hey, "You want to go to Morocco?" And I was like, "Okay." You know, why not? Like, I've never been to Africa. So I was like, this is something totally different. So, uh, so yeah, it was fun. Got to ride on a camel. So that was really cool. Uh, went to the desert. Uh, it was, went to the market. The market was insane. It was definitely once, like, you have to experience that once in a while. Yeah. I mean, and I saw you did a couple of photo shoots over there as well, right? Yeah, I haven't posted much. I only posted just one time, but I'm going to I'm going to get back to posting cuz I've been kind of slacking. But uh yeah, I'm going to post some more stuff that we've done there. We did do a bunch of shoots while we were there. And I just want to edit them, make them a little more on a creative side, you know. Of course. And once I share, hey. it, you know. Come on now, you got to add your little autistic touch. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> 
you got to make some 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 stuff kind of like pop out, you know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what you know. I just like to nerd out and and just make my my work very artsy and creative, kind of different from what most people post on on social media, you know. I just got to tell you, your most recent one, the Ghostbusters one, phenomenal. Oh, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate Slimer it. Slimer is 100% yeah. my favorite. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, that took me like a few hours. I just, you know, I was like, oh, what can I, what can I put in the background? You know, I kind of went old school, so I chose like the original Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Um, because I didn't get enough material from the new one for yes. me to kind of uh, incorporate that into the, this new post. So I kind of went old school. So I was like, okay, let's do the 84 version with the State Puff, you know, Marshmallow Man. And and in the original car was there. So I was like, oh, this is, this is perfect. And I got to, you know, I got to see all the stars that were on the, on the red carpet. Yes, so was, you were there for the red carpet. Yeah. That was really, really fun, really fun to see Bill Murray, you know, the OG, and Dan Aykroyd was there. Were you able to get any pictures with them? No, I was not. I was, I, it was, it was too crowded. I was like, I don't want to bother them, you know. Oh. I took a picture of them, <laughs> but not with them. That's just as good. Yeah. Were there. That's, uh. that's incredible. And with New York Fashion Week coming up, where can we expect to see you? So I might, uh, I might walk again for, for the New York fashion this, uh, this September. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll see uh, who's the designer. I'm not sure who's going to be the designer yet. Okay. But um, I'm kind of on the uh, standby, you know, because I just have to still submit and like make sure that, you know, I fit in everything because that's the thing. I'm, I'm kind of a tall and big guy, so... I don't fit in a lot of things, so a lot of times I, mean, I get I get released. <laughs> you're six foot three, and yeah, I definitely know that Ralph Lauren is looking for people like you. Oh no, so they better hit you up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's you know, it's I love being you know, uh, I'm, I love being tall. It's just you know, sometimes you don't fit in things, and they they have to kind of release you, unfortunately, because you don't fit. Um, and everything's like you know tailor made and custom made and for fashion oh, yeah. week it's it's, it's kind of they kind of do it the day before or like and a it's week before. really it's hard enough. to find yes not enough time for somebody like me yeah but hopefully you know let's see you know hopefully this hopefully year will... come on now <laughs> how about yourself we need to you see you run away you do um, enough in your fashion week i am going to be in new york fashion week i'm going to be walking for bad influence so oh, right. okay. I'm going to be there, I believe, September 8th through the 11th. Um, oh, nice. Okay. So I'd love to hook up with you if you would like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Go hang out, get a coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Uh, let me know when you're here. Uh, I live in New Jersey, but I'm always, I'm always in New York every, every week. I'm in New York at least three times a week. So, you know, it's always yeah. convenient for me. Yeah, my mom is a Jerseyan, so she knows all oh, of New really? Jersey like the back of her hand. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice, nice. Where do you know where we're in Jersey? What part? Southern? Northern. Uh she was in I believe let's see. I know my brother was born in Hoboken. Um, I believe she was in I'm not quite sure. I know that my father is from Long Island, New York. So I come from a New Jerseyan and a New Yorker. So I'm very confused as a Floridian. <laughs> got you, got you. That's funny. <laughs> You're but on both. You're on both sides. Okay. I am on both sides. I just can't handle the cold. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. I see. See, I like I like the seasons actually. Really? Yeah. I mean, you guys get fall, you get winter. We just yeah. have hot and hotter. <laughs> Right, right, right. No, that's that's cool. No, I love. Listen, I love Florida. You know, but I just I love seasons, like fall and winter. I I need to be on the on the East Coast. Of course. Up north. Yeah. 
if we are ever in the area of Tampa, let me know. I mean, oh, yeah. we could always oh, do yeah, a shoot sure. together. And so, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, definitely, and definitely. I would just love to know, because we are looking for a lot of people like you in the acting scene. Would you ever want to do more films or are you going to um, just stick with modeling for right now? No, listen, I'm, you know, if opportunity comes my way and I've really liked the project, why not? Absolutely. 100%. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I've, you know, I've, I've done a few films, but nothing like uh, to, um, you know, where, where it took too long to make like, you know, some films mm -hmm. take like months. So oh, I've never yes. been on a big project like that, but uh, smaller ones I've done, and, and they're so much you know easier to kind of uh, you know. Put, they're manageable, put your time yeah. Time. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they also feel like a family. So if anything comes my way that I know that you would absolutely love, I can send it to you if you would like. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Of course, we gotta help each other out. We're friends. Come on. No, for sure, for sure. That's so cool that you're doing like a podcast. I love that. Thank you. Hey, I mean, I just had to get you back. I had to get you on here because I know that as someone that watches your content regularly, the audience needs to know about it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Of course. And unfortunately we have to wrap this up soon so my last big question for you is mm -hmm. where can we find you so you can find me on instagram so it's my name my full name so it's at adrian garbaliuk and uh, also tiktok which is the same um and facebook and I, I still have facebook a lot of people still do um pretty much all social media outlets except youtube i don't really post that much i just kind of do the same stuff i post the reels same reels on youtube as well so it's adrian garbali everywhere perfect thank you so much for being on here again and of how course. can we support you with your artist and journey oh just you know i guess just follow me and you know uh i'm sure we can we get to communicate you know interact all the time so we'll you know we'll I'll support you, um, even like your your fans, your followers. Um, you know, I always coming back. I always respond, so I'm very interactive. So you, you, I'll make sure that you know everyone. If they have questions, you know, I can answer. If I can inspire somebody, I'll do it. Thank you so much, and of course. thank you for being such an inspiration. Oh, I appreciate it, and likewise, thank you so much, Bree. Of course, and. To everyone else in the audience, thank you all for being part of this today. Thank you, Adrian. And I will be seeing you guys next week, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You all have a wonderful night. My name is Brie Burke with Brie Unfiltered, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. Goodbye now. <laughs>